The Duchess of Sussex's recent trip to Lagos, Nigeria, intended to bolster her philanthropic image, has instead erupted in a diplomatic firestorm. Videos circulating online capture a flustered Meghan Markle being escorted out of a government building by security personnel, tears streaming down her face. The caption, You are not welcome here, is scrawled across the shaky footage, has ignited a frenzy of speculation and outrage. While official statements remain shrouded in secrecy, whispers from Lagos paint a picture of a duchess who overstepped her bounds. Apparently, Meghan, known for her outspoken nature, clashed with a high-ranking Nigerian official during a private meeting. Details of the disagreement are murky, but reports suggest it centered on a proposed charitable initiative championed by the Duchess. This isn't the first time Meghan's forceful approach has caused international ripples. Her past disregard for royal protocol during official tours strained relations with several Commonwealth nations. Critics point to her insistence on extravagant wardrobe choices and diva-like behavior towards palace staff as evidence of a deep-seated arrogance. The Nigerian incident, however, transcends cultural faux pas. Meghan's perceived meddling in local affairs has ignited a firestorm of resentment. Many Nigerians view her actions as a continuation of a colonialist mentality, a wealthy Westerner imposing their will on a sovereign nation. Social media is ablaze with accusations of neo-colonialism and a sense of frustration that their country is being treated as a charity case. The situation is further complicated by the ongoing tension between the Sussexes and the British royal family. Their decision to step down from senior roles and their subsequent public pronouncements have left a bitter taste in the mouths of many. Meghan's actions in Lagos are seen by some as a deliberate attempt to undermine the monarchy and establish herself as a rival power player on the world stage. The British government, caught in the crossfire, is scrambling to contain the damage. Officials are desperately seeking a face-saving explanation for the Duchess's abrupt departure, a task made more difficult by the lack of cooperation from the Nigerian government. The longer the silence persists, the more the narrative solidifies a rogue duchess embarrassing the crown on foreign soil. The fallout from this incident could have far-reaching consequences. Diplomatic relations between Britain and Nigeria, already strained, could plummet. The carefully cultivated image of Meghan Markle as a humanitarian is in tatters, replaced by one of a self-serving celebrity with a superiority complex. One question lingers, will the duchess learn from this colossal misstep? Or will she continue down a path of self-promotion, oblivious to the international chaos she leaves in her wake? Only time will tell, but one thing is certain, the world is watching, and the verdict is far from in.